Welcome to Kyle Field, home to the Texas A&M Aggies, a unique and special environment in college football. This crowd coming together to make up the 12th man, trying to make it very difficult for any opponent. This is not a normal matchup. Two teams ranked in the top 10, colliding right here in the middle of the season, trying to make a strong statement, big playoff implications. As we'll see a team that made use of a bye week, the Missouri Tigers, taking on the fifth ranked team, the Texas A&M Aggies. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Turn begins inside the 10. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. And he's brought down after a solid effort on that return. The Aggies offense going to get the chance to start this game off. And the focus, of course, on this quarterback, Kirk. This guy just has the impact. He is him, as they say. Well, Chris, we've had a chance to watch this guy closely all year. And I don't know if I've ever seen a kid throw the football like this guy. His awareness in and out of the pocket is special. He's a unique quarterback and a really dynamic player. Trying to find some room. It's Owens. The freshman brings him down quickly. End of the yard here in third down to keep this opening drive going. And they pick up the first on the ground. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Texas A&M getting set with a first and ten now. Ball handed to the running back. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Second down after that run on the previous play. Change of pace, not looking to throw the football. Let's it go quickly. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. It's a huge gain all the way down inside the 30. And the Aggies hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Boy, great throw here by the quarterback and a big gain here for Texas A&M's offense. A great route by the wide receiver and the ability to go up and make a play. Boy, they've had some great ones over the years. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. One man to the backfield, and he'll get the football. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent game. So here we go now, third and short from the opponent's 24-yard line. What will the offense choose to do at this point? Defense is coming after him. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. So the coach will decide to settle for three points here. Out comes the field goal unit. This will be a long-range attempt, 51 yards out. Kick is up and no good. With that miss, no change in the score. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead he shanks it. Here comes the Missouri offense back out on the field. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Wow, taking a shot on the very first play. Oh, and it's dropped. A chance for a big play here in the early going, but some jitters in the part of that receiver. He hands it off from the gun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Running out of time in the pocket. Cannot escape it. Down he goes. And the punt team makes its way onto the field. And their fair catch is made a smart decision in rainy conditions like this. Here comes the first play of the drive now from the 44. Looking to throw it on first down. That's reeled in. It's Moss. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Second down after that short completion. 
Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Scanning the field, it's Weigman. Bringing pressure. Oh, a sack, the senior on this defense making a big play. Now the defense goes with that nickel, gives him more speed on the field, and I think they did a nice job of taking every option this quarterback had, nowhere to go with the football, and eventually they get the sack. And the coverage team able to bring him down. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. Last time was a quick three and out, and they get a drive going this time. Finds his man. It's Cooper. And they keep the drive going. It's a first down to the 46. Here comes the up-tempo offense. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Just a small gain. Look at it. Second and nine. Second and nine. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. And the pressure gets home, it's a sack. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. Looking to throw it on third and very long. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Well, the screen doesn't produce a first down. Good work by the defense. Now it's fourth down. Special teams on the field, now here comes a punt. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And the punt heads out of bounds. They'll spot this ball about the 30. Here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. The pass rush closing in. They've got him. Defense comes up with a sack. Chris, I really felt the quarterback came off the fake a little bit too quick. The defense didn't bite at all on the play action. They saw the quarterback had the ball, attacked, and got the sack. They'll try a pass here. Receiver makes the catch. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Pressure is coming. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. The Aggies will have to kick this away. When he comes for his second punt of the game. Returner tackle right there. That's where they'll start the drive. Here comes the Missouri offense back out on the field. Last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right now. Nice run. He's brought down at the 44. Offense are going to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. Goes to his right side there for the completion. Tackled across midfield at the 48. Good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Quarterback keeps the football. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Important second down play coming up. Getting set for the second quarter here. Both offenses searching for a spark. They didn't do much in the first quarter at all. As we get lined up here for quarter number two, we'll see if the offenses can get going. They didn't do much in the opening quarter. Looking for a gap, it's Carroll. Defense stops him, but that's a solid gain. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout where they check it out. It's third down for the offense. And it's incomplete, but here comes the flag. So hold on, let's check that out. You know, you know, 
And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Looking to pass, it's Cook. The pocket breaking down. Breaking free at the 35. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. And this quarterback can play the game. He can throw, and as we see here, he can run the football. The defense does everything that they need to with the pressure. They look like they're in good position to be able to come up with a nice play on him. But instead, he shows how he can slip out of the back door of this defense and pick up a nice game. It's a run to the left. Got a lane. Can he get in? And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Missouri. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for a running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Returner looking to make a play here. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Aggies offense back on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this ride? The game is two yards, so it's second and eight. He'll hand it off. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. And the Aggies will send their punt team onto the field. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look out. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. So the ball placed right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and ten. Quick pass. The catch is made. They bring him down quickly. A short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Here's the second down play. Dropping back. It's Cook. Receiver makes the grab. They bring him down, but that game moves the ball all the way to the 31. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. Looking for some space. It's Carroll. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Worked down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. He's running out of time here. Decides not to throw it and will take an enormous loss on this second. One team making their way on the field. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. That's a solid gain, moves the ball to the 29. The back behind the quarterback now in the pistol. Give it to the back again. Good enough for first down yardage. Look, when this back has room to run, he really can hurt you with his speed and ability to accelerate upfield to pick up a first down. Think about AM backs over the years. They have been spoiled. Some great backs most recently. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Big gain across midfield. Tackle finally made at the 32. The Aggies hustle to the line to run the hurry up. How about
about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line. I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. Second down play coming up. Now with the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Let's it fly to the wide out. Makes the catch downfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Using his legs, it's Owens. Got a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. And there's the handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. Looking to throw. It's Weigman. Makes the catch. Can he get in? They stop him at the four, but it sets up this offense with a first and goal. And the Aggies trying to punch it in. It's first and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. Offense facing second and goal. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Muscles across the goal line. Touchdown, AM. Well, they slow the game down with a long, winding drive to produce a touchdown. That was impressive. What's impressive to me is the consistency. You know, it's one thing to hit a receiver and you can score a big touchdown, but to be able to go and sustain drives and keep the sticks moving, that puts a lot on the quarterback and the executor of the offense. Man, did they make that look easy. And they'll set up with a PAT. And it's good. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And he takes this from inside the five. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. So the Missouri offense has back out onto the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. And it's caught. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. We'll take a quick pause before the half as we reach the two-minute warning. On first and ten, looking to throw. Snags the quick throw. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Looks to the left, pass caught. Big gain, moves the ball into enemy territory. They'll spot it down near the 31. Well, it's one thing to hear about how fast this receiver is in the scouting report. You look at him on film all week. The defense coordinator tells you, get ready, this guy can run. And then the reality comes. And this guy can fly. You see it again here. Nice catch. Big man finally brought down by the cornerback. That was a tough assignment. That completion makes it second and medium. Defense is coming after him. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. But well, the defense would not be denied on this play. They come up with a sack. Quarterback really didn't have much of a chance at all. Lucky he just held on to the ball. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Looking to pass. It's Cook. He's going to take off. Quarterback gets down to avoid the tackle. And now the defense will call a timeout here to make an adjustment on their side before this crucial play. And the field goal unit coming on the field now. He knocks this one right through. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So they settled for three here, and now the kickoff. We'll see if the opposing offense can answer before halftime. The kickoff will be returned. 
He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Texas A&M offense heads back out onto the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. Caught over the middle. It's Muhammad. The timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And you're head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Finds that big tight end for a short pass. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. That completion makes it second down. And he drops back in the gun. Grab near the sticks. It's Owens. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Texas A&M getting set for the first and ten now. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Caught on the outside. It's Green. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Offense getting set. It's second down. Second down. Here's the snap, looking to throw here. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. On third down, he drops to throw. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. The Aggies will bring their punt team onto the field. Ball lands at the five. It doesn't check up. Bounces into the end zone for a touchback. So they'll just take a knee here, and that will send us to halftime. Somewhat conservative call, but content to take this lead into the locker room. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A really raucous environment there in College Station. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And on that note, time to throw it back to our guys at the stadium. And the Aggies will kick this away to start the second half. And here's the return from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. Here comes the Missouri offense back out on the field. And a chance right away here in the second half to stretch the lead and build momentum. Let's see what this defense can do about it. Solid run. They'll bring it down at the 28-yard line. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. And the soft were able to bring him down quickly. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Here's the toss play now, running left. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. They bring the punter onto the field now. Turner decides to fair catch this. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Dropping back. It's Weigman. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. And the defense swarms. Not much of a gain on that completion. Pass caught. Second down now. There's the snap. He's looking to throw. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. They punted four times already on the verge of a fifth. They can't convert this third down. Running out of time in the pocket. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. If I'm on this offensive line, man, I do not want to see the game fill. This has been a tough game for the big boys. It appears almost like they've just been moonwalking the entire game. 
and they've been pushed all around. That's six sacks surrendered already in this game. The Aggies will send the punt team onto the field. On the kick now for the fifth time today. And the returner elects to fair catch it, no return. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. Which offense can get it going first? This one has been a struggle so far. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. Makes the grab. It's Burden. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Getting set. Here's second down. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. And that run is good for first down yardage. A new set of downs for this offense. Tailback takes the handoff again. Fighting him off. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. Missouri getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Takes the handoff. It's Carroll. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Not much on that play brought down short. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. Back to throw. It's Cook. Bringing pressure. That was exciting, but no one to throw to. Eventually goes down. Chris, this one's on the quarterback, in my opinion. He's got to have a better feel and a presence in the pocket to be able to either check it down or get rid of the ball. He just can't take the sack. And the punt team now on to kick it away. On to kick now for the fifth time today. The punt goes out of bounds. Looks like they'll spot it near the 25. Here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. They'll tackle him right at the 31. Second down after that run on the previous play. Sticking with the running game. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Try and muscle for the first down. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. To first and ten play coming up for the offense. Hand off to the single back. The gain is three yards, brings up a second down and seven. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Quick completion to the tight end. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of a first down. Offense looking to keep the drive going here. Third and short now from the 44. Grab down the middle. It's green. They stop him with the 47, but that's enough for a first down. This Texas A&M offense is moving quickly down the field. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Offense lines up. This is the seventh play now in this drive. To throw, it's Weigman. Catch is made behind the line of scrimmage. Hard running through a tackle. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. They're moving the receiver now before the snap. Takes the handoff. It's Owens. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Second down after that previous play. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Fires it to the wide out. And he's got his bag open downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. And the Aggies come to the line to run the hurry up. They'll run it here. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. They call the counter run here. A quick juke to get free. 
Mulcahy brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. And as we take a break to flip ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the current national rankings. We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? So here we go, third down. Defense needs a stop here, trying to force a field goal attempt. Pass rush closing in. Got him for a sack. A big play made by one of the senior leaders of this defense. This offensive line flat out cannot handle the pressure of this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of Chris. Get this seven sacks in this game so far. So on fourth down, Number it's an all important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And the field goal is good. And we are tied up now here in the fourth quarter. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee and to bring the football out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Missouri offense back out on the field. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away, and they begin to click now. That was a nice juke, but not much room to run. He's brought down for a short game. And now the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. The offense now facing a third and long from the 26. Got to avoid a mistake here. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Pressure is coming. Quarterback takes off now. Looking to scramble. Could not get there on the scramble. Short of the marker. And now a fourth down decision coming up. No kick it away here. But oh, he's got some space here. And they've got the returner corralled. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? To the air, it's Weigman. The short completion of the tight end. He's brought down quickly. A short gain gets him a few yards closer to the marker. Ball handed off. And he'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? And the pass is incomplete. The Aggies will have to kick it away. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. And the return man decides to signal a fair catch. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Now begin with a quick throw to the left. The defense drops him from a loss. He went backwards there. A second down behind the sticks now. They're going to run it. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. The pocket breaking down. The sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. If I'm on this offensive line, man, I would not want to look at the game film after their performance today. It's almost like they've been moonwalking backwards the entire game, getting pushed all around by this defensive front. Chris, they've already given up six sacks alone in this game. Punt team ready to boot it away. And a fair catch called for a prudent play in rainy conditions like this. And here comes the Aggies offense back on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. 
They bring him down, but the game moves the ball into enemy territory at the 43. That run picks up first down yardage, a fresh set of downs for this offense. Scanning the field, it's Weigman. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Downfield shot falls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. Second down play coming up for this offense. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Running back has it on a screen now. Powering through the defender. It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Play action here on first down. Looking for the wide out. He's got his man in the open field. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And they claim the lead here in the final quarter. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Now he comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. Here comes the Missouri offense back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Caught near the sideline, but just a short game. And heads out of bounds after a decent game. That completion makes it second and medium. On the run, it's Carroll. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. Got him, he's sacked. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. After a first down loss, it's second and long from their 25. Looking downfield, it's Cook. Receiver makes the catch. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yard again. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Down he goes. A sack. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game, and a big reason why these guys are enjoying the lead. And here comes the punter onto the field. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. First down, we're going to throw the football. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Incomplete. Second down coming up. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. They bring the heat, and the blitz works. They've got him. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play-action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. The important play right here. Close game, fourth quarter, third and long. Quarterback drops back. It's a deep throw down the right sideline. Oh, and it's incomplete and very nearly intercepted. They waste an opportunity for a much needed takeaway there. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. And here's the fair catch by the return man. So the Missouri offense heads back out onto the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. And they finally get things going this time. 
He's won. Nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. Looks like the offense is able to recover it there. Well, it's a good job by the defense to force the fumble, but you have to have the collective awareness for someone to get on top of it. It's a lucky break for the offense. The offensive line will have to regroup after the sack. It's second and 13. We've reached the two-minute warning now. Can this offense come away with a late comeback victory? Defense is coming after him. He'll be taken down. The defense rises up the sack in a crucial moment. If this team can hold on today and win, this pass rush deserves all the credit in the world. They have gotten after this quarterback so many times. Really, every time the opposing offense does something positive, it feels like a sack just stops any progress. Back-to-back -back sacks, and this home crowd is going berserk for this third and long. To throw, it's Cook. Running out of time in the pocket. Can't get it away. The defense has got him. What a huge stop at the stage of the game. Down by a touchdown late. This is a crucial fourth down play. Looking to throw for the first down. And there's a deep throw with the clock winding down. And it falls incomplete for a turnover on downs. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. A handoff to the back. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. The shotgun running play call. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. So on fourth down, out trots the place kicker in a very big spot here. This one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Extending the lead with the field goal, they'll kick it off now from trying to make the offense go a long way to win it. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback. And they'll start at the 25. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. The offense spikes the ball here, looking to preserve as much clock as they can. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. And it's incomplete again. Fourth count coming up. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Crowd trying to help out here on fourth down. Final minutes here, they'll throw it deep downfield. And it's incomplete. And the drive will fizzle out here in the final minutes. And now it's victory formation. The quarterback will just kneel down. Well, it wasn't a flawless performance, Kirk, but they looked pretty good out there today and a very satisfying W. I think this group has a chance to do some really special things this year. They clearly have talent to be able to work with. I've been impressed with how this head coach managed the game and led his team to a victory. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.